Today we'll be making red lentil burgers. For this recipe, you'll need red lentils, whole cumin seeds, black mustard seeds, a red onion, garlic, ginger, chilies, ground coriander seed, turmeric, cumin, and cardamom, tomato paste, eggs, lemon, garam masala, fresh cilantro, and panko breadcrumbs. And if you're new here, I'm Maggie. This is No Frills Kitchen where I teach you how to cook with confidence with nothing fancy required. First off, you need to prep your ingredients. So finely dice a red onion. You can use a yellow onion here, but I like the sweeter flavor that a red onion lends to these burgers. Then finally mince some fresh ginger. I don't bother peeling ginger because I honestly don't think it's necessary. If you wanna peel it, then go ahead. You can also grate the ginger on a grater if you wanna save some chopping. Next, finely mince some garlic. I like to use a garlic press because I'm lazy, but you can mince this with a knife or even grate it if you'd like. And then finally chop a green chili. I'm using a jalapeno because it's the most available where I live. I like things a bit spicy, so I don't tend to remove the ribs and seeds. However, if you're sensitive to heat, then it's a good idea to remove them. Finally, chop quite a bit of fresh cilantro and set aside. By the way, if you're finding this recipe helpful, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps more people find my videos and I would really appreciate it. Now it's time to move to the stovetop. A foundation of Indian cooking that I've used in these burgers to amp up the flavor is the concept of layering spices. That means adding different spices at different times of cooking to develop a lot of complex flavors. Start by adding some whole cumin seeds and some whole black mustard seeds to a cold skillet. Set the pan over medium heat and toast the seeds until they begin to dance around on the pan and they become very fragrant. Only a couple of minutes. Add a bit of neutral oil to the pan once you reach this stage and heat it until shimmering. Then add your red onion along with a generous pinch of salt. Cook the onion until it begins to brown around the edges. This will take about seven to 10 minutes. I urge you not to skip this step as it's really important to developing complex flavors in these burgers. Once your onions are beginning to brown, add your minced garlic, ginger, and chilies. Cook this until it's just fragrant, only about 30 seconds or so. Then it's time to add a few more spices. This time, add in some ground coriander seed, ground turmeric, ground cumin, and ground cardamom. Stir these into the onion and garlic mixture and cook until fragrant, another 30 seconds to one minute. Then add in a bit of tomato paste. Stir the tomato paste into the onion mixture and cook it for about two minutes, just to get the tinny flavor cooked out and so it begins to darken. Then take the pan off the heat and set it aside for a few minutes while you get the rest of your burgers together. In a large mixing bowl, whisk together some eggs and a bit of lemon juice for acidity. Then add in your cooked onion mixture and stir to combine. Next, add in your cooked lentils along with some garam masala and chopped fresh cilantro. Mix all of this until it's very well combined. Finally, gently fold in some panko breadcrumbs until they are just incorporated. You don't wanna over mix at this point. The panko is used to bind the burgers together, much like in my black bean burger recipe. Divide the mixture into equal pieces. Using your hands, roll them into balls and flatten them into patties. I like to weigh mine out to ensure that they're equal, but you can eyeball this if that's what you prefer. Also, if you want to freeze the burgers, this is the time to wrap them and then chuck them in the freezer. Just make sure to defrost them completely before you cook them. To cook the lentil patties, heat some oil in a large skillet over medium heat, and when it's shimmering, add each patty to the pan and cook for about five minutes per side until they're crispy and golden brown. If you liked this recipe, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next videos. Enjoy!